Previously, on Morrowind. I've been in Firewatch for about a month now, and while I've enjoyed my time here, there's just as many problems to solve on the mainland than in Vardenfell. I genuinely feel bad when I'm unable to help others, something I never thought I'd say before. The Archmage of the local Mages Guild sent me all over the mainland securing alliances, collecting scrolls, and ultimately had me slay a demigod. Perhaps this was a way for Azura to test me. Even on vacation, I cannot escape the call. After all, if I can slay a demigod, why not a false one? I will return back to home soon, and there is no longer denying it. The time has come to truly become the Nerevarine and to save the people of Morrowind. Maybe when this is all over, one day I can return here with Salvina and my son. So long, Firewatch. Hello, and welcome back to some more Morrowind with Valjan Celis. So, today, unfortunately, or fortunately, if you didn't want to be spoiled, we are going to be leaving Firewatch and Tamriel Rebuilt. We're going to head back home to Vardenfell. But I enjoyed my time here, and so did Valjan. Valjan enjoyed it so much so that he's going to buy a house here. So I wanted to show off this mod a little bit. It is called Magical Mainland Homes by C Double OK. Yes. Who is one of I think he develops for Tamriel Rebuilt. So what it does is it basically adds player homes to the mainland. There aren't really a lot of player homes in Tamriel Rebuilt, and so C Double OK has gone through and added them to major towns like Firewatch. I think and Dothran has one, Old Ebonheart has one. I believe Almas Theer has one. So it's kind of a cool way to actually get a player home on the mainland that you normally don't get at all unless you kill someone, I guess. I just wanted to show it off a little bit. Hello. Hello, Valtron Cells. Balan Vesius at your service, but only shortly. Ha! I've decided to retire, you see. Time has caught up with me and I wish to retire back on the Gold Coast. But I must sell my cottage here before I go. Would you be interested? Y yes. I spent the majority of my career here, learning everything Morrowind had to teach me, sitting in this cottage at my most prized writing desk that has been with me since I came to Morrowind. Time would just melt away like it was nothing. Uh, hello? Hmm, yes, my apologies. I got lost in the memories there for a bit. Of course, the cottage. Are you interested in purchasing it? Yes. 1200 gold, sure. You've made an old man. Oh, I've made an old man. <laughs> Very happy. Thanks to you, I'll be able to see my beloved Gold Coast and City of Anvil again. The cottage is yours. I'll pack the rest of my things and leave as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot. A Khajiit trader named Cassina will drop by from time to time. I allowed her to set up camp outside the cottage for her business. In return, I asked her to bring me any interesting writings she may find. The crate outside the door is where she'll put them when she stops by. Enjoy, Valgencels. Thank you. Enjoy, uh, Anvil. Maybe we'll see you when the Project Tamriel update comes out for Cyrodiil. Yeah, so you basically get a little home. It's nothing fancy. Some of the other houses are bigger than this one, but... You know, we spent time in Firewatch. We were actually just outside Firewatch here. Let's uh, check out the cottage a little bit. Yeah, so basically these houses are very... I don't know, customizable, and... There's a lot of storage space, display cases. It's pretty... Pretty nice. Pretty. This one's pretty small, but it's it's kind of the perfect size. See all the storage, bookshelves, the display case for your like best artifacts right there. I don't know. I, I just thought this this mod looked cool, and just wanted to show it off a little bit before we left. So now Valjan has a summer home, or perhaps a winter home. I don't know. But yeah, we are going back to the mainland and before we do that we're gonna grab all of our stuff that i've dropped off over here and then let's just recall home uh it's so sad but you know we had, we had a good time there all right i'm going to clear our inventory a little bit and then i'll bring you back when when we're ready to do what we're going to do today all right so i've cleared out our inventory now went back to our telvani robes and I've decided to roll with the Anarchy Spear we picked up and the Crossbow of Accuracy. Kind of to mix it up, and crossbows are really cool. I don't know why they got rid of them in Oblivion. And then this, of course, this spear is cool, and we haven't used spears yet, so I figured that'd be a cool way 
to start using it. Um, we're wearing our gloves again. I got rid of a lot of the junk in our inventory. So yeah, I think this is this is how we're gonna roll. Crossbow and spear. Why not? Today though, what we're actually going to do, we have to search deep into our quest log here. We are going to head to the Cavern of the Incarnate and solve the riddle. This is, I believe, the third trial? Yes, the third trial of the Nerevarine. So we're going to do that today. Continue on with the main quest. See where it takes us. We should have that camp still marked. Yep. If you... So like we always do when we need help with vague prophecies, we speak to the wise woman. Sumatul has sent you to seek the third trial. He has told you of the shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. I cannot tell you how to find this place, but he said you may seek the wisdom of the tribes and the wisdom of the wise woman I may share with you. Perhaps what I know can help you with these lines of the riddle. The star is the key and the dream is the door. The star is Azura. Azura's star appears in the sky only in the magical hour between day and night, at dawn and twilight. And what about the dream is the door? You say the star is the key, Azura's star, then the door is only seen at dawn and dusk and the star is the key that opens it. All right, let's try to ask them about any of these other parts of the prophecy, like Eye of the Needle. Perhaps you mean the needle. It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance to that valley is marked by Arian's teeth, two tall rock spires. Okay, where's the Valley of Wind? There are two valleys side by side on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The westernmost valley is called Dry Camp Valley. The, the camps have no water, but they are sheltered from the wind. Dun Ahi Caverns are also there. The Valley of the Wind is the easternmost valley. It runs along the strait south between Arian's Teeth and climbs towards Red Mountain. The mouths of these valleys are to the east along the coast, past Bathand, a Dwemer ruin, and just past Zerganipal, a Daedric ruin. Turn south. Okay, and then what about Arian's Teeth? Two stone spikes at the mouth of the Valley of Wind. The Valley of Wind runs south from the sea in the northeast of Vardenfell, east of Dwemer Bithand. Yeah, you already said that. Uh, we stay away from the valley. The winds howl and the spirits are always awake. Dareleth Ancestral Tomb is in this valley. It is foolish to disturb the spirits in their resting place. What about Skin of the Pearl? Just a moment. You mentioned the needle in the Valley of the Wind. I recall at the top of that tall spire is not white, but much lighter than other rocks nearby. The head of the Valley of the Wind sits right under the needle. It is a good, safe campground, sheltered from wind, with only one approach. That whitish rock at the top of the needle, that might be the pearl you're talking of. This guy knows everything. What about Teeth of the Wind? Hmm, I know no place of, of that name, but there is a place called Arian's Teeth in the Valley of the Wind. These two rock spires mark the entrance to the valley, and they bear the name of the seer Arin, one blessed by Azura. This guy just knew it all. Um, I think that's all the information we need, right? Thankfully, it is such a nice day out. The perfect day to be wandering the land. Let's try out our crossbow. <laughs> I already love it. Come on. The one time I want to fight cliff racers. There we go. Marksman 29. This is great. It loads so fast. <laughs> okay, so... I think the best way that I know how to get there, because I've, you know, done this mission before, is to go to the Dunmer Stronghold over here. Blas Marion, or something like that. I think that's how you say it. Wow. That Fortify Marksman must be doing some work. Either that or it's the boots we got last time that increases our attack. I think that works for ranged attacks as well. <laughs> Shot him right out of the sky. Okay, there's our Dunmer stronghold right there. We can just get rid of this guy. There we go. Man, well, should I be picking up my bolts? I don't. I only have 150 of them, so I do have to be a little careful. Yeah. So this is what is it called Falas Marion. Yeah, I was pretty much right. And from here, here you basically just need to go east. very far east. I do want to show off more Tamriel Rebuilt stuff and I talked about it a little bit on the Discord which if you haven't joined yet you should but the plan I think is going to be we're going to do the main quest with Faldrin. I want to say in one straight shot from here on out because we've kind of just been putting off doing lots of side stuff which I don't mind doing 
That's why I did it. The plan is to finish the game, the main quest, and then I think we're going to start Tribunal. Like I've said before, I'm basically going to be go going in blind. I played probably maybe 30 minutes of that DLC and then got frustrated by the sewers underneath and <laughs> that was the end of that. So it will be blind in my mind. It was also a very long time ago. I don't really remember anything besides goblins and sewers. But yeah, after the main quest and tribunal, I'm going to have to decide if we start the Oblivion series at that point, I think is going to be the plan. The thing with Morrowind though, even if we do start the Oblivion series, is I'm not going to stop making Morrowind videos. You know, Valdrin's story will have come to a close, and so any future videos will just be probably Valjean. I don't think I'm going to start a new character. Um, it'll just be us showing off the other quests and factions. Valjean's story will be complete at that point, like lore-wise or whatever, whatever you want to say, canon-wise. And I'm going to keep making videos for Morrowind. They'll just be either faction-based or finishing quest lines or trying out mods or doing whatever it is I really feel like playing and those will just be not standalone videos but maybe a little bit more standalone um so i'm not gonna stop making more one content not for a very very long time i i feel like we've sh i've shown off a good chunk of stuff mods custom stuff a lot of vanilla stuff that has been modified and so i feel like valjan story is sort of coming to an end i mean we could you know spend the rest of eternity exploring Tamriel rebuilt and stuff, and that's what I want to do. I just, I want to do it with Valdrin's story being wrapped up with a nice bow ending with Tribunal. And then we can start the Oblivion series, which I think will be fun. It'll be very similar to this, where we will start with super low stats. Our health will probably be about 10. Our fatigue will be like five. We'll have no magic to cast anything. So it'll be almost identical to the series right now, just in Oblivion instead of Morrowind. But yeah, Morrowind's not going away, it's just I'd like to start Oblivion and then keep making Morrowind videos based on mods and what I what sounds fun to me. Ooh, Acrobatics 100, there you go. Even like Blood Moon, that might be its own separate series that we do. I don't know. We're, I'll have to wait and see until the time comes what we end up doing, but I think that's the plan is finish the main quest, finish tribunal, and go from there. All right, we actually found the, door the cavern of the incarnate. Not open. The star is the key. She's talking. Uh, we have to wait till dawn or dusk. In the dawn hour under Azura's star, the door is opened. There you go. We are let into the cavern of the incarnate. The moon and star. Nerevar reborn, incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander, Ashkans, and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarin. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarine, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. Ah, uh, yeah. So the moon and star <laughs> obviously isn't that great compared to the rings we have. Fortify personality and speech. So we're not going to use, oh, hello. But yes, you can speak to the past incarnate. So that's what we're going to do. Peak Star. Welcome incarnate, moon and star reborn, hordator, nerevarine, mourner of the tribe, unmourn, redeemer of the false gods. I am Peak Star. I was not the one, but I wait in hope. Ask and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. Um, that's a lot of options. What do you mean you are not the one? I am a failed incarnate. So are, so are those who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in battle with an ash vampire. I could not master the arts of war, no, nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things, they are of no use to me. A belt and some 
stained pants. I don't really want your stained pants, but thank you. I will answer when I can and with what I know, but the visions of Azura are often obscure for two reasons. One, because the future cannot be known and choices may always be made. Two, because the truth is not clear or simple. Azura, Azura's riddles warn us to think long and hard. They force us to search carefully for truth and meaning and not to rely only on impulse and force. Um, what is the tribe unmourned? Pity Dagoth are in the sixth house. All they do, all they are, is foul and evil, but they began in brightness and honor. And the cause of their fall was their loyal service to you, Lord Nerevar. You told Lord Dagoth to guard the profane tools beneath Red Mountain, and thus he was tempted. He did your bidding when he tried to keep these tools from the tribunal, and so he hates you, who betrayed him and the tribunal, who mocked his honor, attacked him, and stole the profane tools for their own use. Kagranak, the high priest of the Dwemer, forged enchanted artifacts to steal the power of the gods. Nerevar fought the Dwemer to prevent this blasphemy, but Dagoth Ur took these tools to make himself a god, and the tribunal took these tools to make themselves gods. Though the tribunal sought to do good with their power, they are tainted by the same corrupt desires that moved Dagoth Ur. False gods, the tribunal and Dagoth Ur have the unnatural abilities and lifespan of gods, but they gain these things by actions that mock the gods and misuse divine power. They were ambitious and unwise, and the consequences of these ungodly acts threaten all that lives in Morrowind. Tell me about the ring? You bear the moon and star, the ring of Nerevar. None may deny you are Nerevar reborn, the prophesied, prophesized incarnate. The temple will know you as an enemy. Hey, it's okay, I'm the archcanon, right? Ordinators will mark you for death, and the tribunal faithful of the great houses will hate and fear you. The doubters of the tribes will test your strength and doubt your honor. You will be known. You must prepare and be ready. You must go before the counselors of the great houses and satisfy them, for only the councils of the great houses can name you Hortator. I do not know the settled people of the great houses and can offer you no counsel. You must also go before the Ashkans of the Waste people and satisfy them, for only the Ashkans of the four tribes can name you Nerevarine. Speak first with Sulmatul of the Urshalaku and with wise woman Nabani Mesia, for all the Ashlanders. They are the wisest in the lore of the Incarnate, and you have already known Sulmatul. You have already shown Sulmatul proof of your worth. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of dialogue this episode. I love that stuff, so buckle up. Hello. Welcome, Incarnate. I am Annie Tyria. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Ask and I shall tell you my story. I was a holy crusader of the temple in the golden era of the Tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings that were later suppressed by the temple and now would be called Apographa. I followed the tribunal unquestioningly to my regret. I never believed in the Nerevarine prophecies until it was too late. Take my humble possessions with my blessing. Let's look at what we're getting. A mace. Cool. A embroidered embroidered belt okay some stained pants that are actually pretty good because they give you levitate and she gave us a book correct yes heavy armor book i like it i am arudan i was not the one but i wait and hope i shall tell you my story i saw marwin fall to the empire i lived through the humiliation of the surrender swore hatred and vengeance against imperial and tribunal alike for their betrayals in later years i despaired and turned to red mountain where i grew old and died fighting the blight in Red Mountain's monsters. Take my weapons and armor. I have no further use for them. Spear and a curious. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we'll keep them because they're unique, but they're not very good. All right. What about you, I Idrini? I am Idrini. I was not the one, but I wait and hope. Okay, what's your story? I lived in the late years of the Tribunate and behind the scenes. I helped us demoralize, then repel the Akaviri invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarine or Dagoth Ur until I took refuge with the Ashlanders. I died a fool trying to loot ruined Kogarun. Here, take these. Maybe there's something in the world le worth left stealing. Left worth stealing. Probe and a lockpick. <laughs> Thank you. What's your story? I was an Ashkan. I led my people against the Akaviri while the Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kagodi. I quested deep into the strongholds and Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the women, and to my shame I craved glory, but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours, with my blessing. So, axe, fortify attack, yeah, that's alright. And... boots? They're okay. <laughs> okay, I think he's the last guy. He kind of looks like Valjan's dad or something. What's your story? 
I died 400 years ago, the last days of turmoil and unrest after the, after the Empire came to Morrowind. I was a thinker and not a doer, and though I was marked by the stars, I was not a hero. Take these things of mine, my bones won't complain. So he gave us Sithis and his robe. What is... His robe turns undead and shield, that's pretty bad. And then Sithis is... A book? Yes. We already read it. Oh, well, that's everyone, so... We will leave the Cavern of the Incarnate and return back to Sul Matul and tell him the good news. You have passed the third trial. Before you lies the fourth trial and the fifth trial. I have spoken with Nibani Maiza, and I know these trials. You wish to be called Urshilaku Nerevarin. But first, would you hear the counsel of Sulmatul? Yes, what is your counsel? Good. First, I would give you warning. When you are called Nerevarin, the word must spread, and many must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood. And such friends as you may have among the great houses, those who heed the words of the temple, they may forget their love for you. If you have business with the people of houses and temple, you may wish to conduct the business first before you are named Nerevarin. Second, I tell you, seek the counsel of wise woman Nabani Mesia, for you are an outlander and ignorant of the ways of our people. She can tell you the other she can tell you of the other tribes, of their ways and of their Ashkans. If you do not know these things, you will make many mistakes and waste precious time. That is my counsel. Now, if you wish to be named the Urshalaku Nerevarine, we may speak of these things. Yeah? Very well. You wish to be called Nerevarine. I know you, and I am disposed to do so. But first we must speak of need and duty. Before I name you, you must understand why a war leader is needed, so you may tell others. And before I name you, I must see that you know duty. Only when we have spoken of these things shall you be called Nerevarine. Okay, what about need? Know the words of the prophecies. The curse of Dagoth Ur and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. These are the proofs you must show to all the people as Urshlaku Nerevarin. Okay, what about duty? You shall be the Nerevarin of all the tribes and Hortator of all the great houses. You shall eat the sin of the unmourned house and free the false gods. You must defeat the sixth house and Dagoth Ur. You must free the tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. This shall be your duty as the Urshalaku Nerevarin. Before my hearth and kin, and before the people of the wastes, I name you Urshalaku Nerevarin, war leader of the Urshalaku and protector of the people. In token of this, I give you the teeth, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that you are the Nerevarin, and that the Urshalaku shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back into my hand. <laughs> That's fair. You wear the moon and star of Nerevar. The legend of the moon and star is known to all lore masters. No man but Nerevar may wear that ring and live. This is a true sign. This is a miracle, a blessing of Azura, and no man may deny it. All right, so we got the moon and star. We also got the teeth of the Urshalaku. All right, let's talk to Nabani. I'm concerned. Why have you not yet fulfilled the prophecies of the Nerevarine? Have you done something wrong? Have you forgotten your destiny? I have heard that the leader of the temple, a man named Thalur Saroni, is desperate and asks that you come speak with him at the High Fane of Vivek City. Please, if there is some problem, go to Saroni. Perhaps there is still hope. So, I know somewhere in this quest, if your fame is high enough, it allows you to skip becoming the Hortator of the Houses and the Nerevarines of the different tribes. We don't want to do that. I want to show off the whole thing here. So we can ask her about some of these. Um, the Hlalu are great traders, keen for profit and subtle with words. It will be hard to find someone you can trust, perhaps impossible. You may have to fight with words to find the truth. Beware of tricks and lies. Seek behind appearances. Look for hidden power. Be wary. Be suspicious. Go to Balmora, the chief town of the Hlalu. I believe their counselors meet there in a great house with many rooms. The Hlalu are soft and cowardly, sly and greedy. Their traitors are liars and cheats. Look behind the words they speak for the truths they are hiding. Okay, what about House Redoran? Go to Aldrun, the chief town of the Redoran. 
They say the council meets under the shell of the giant emperor crab. Hey, that's where I go. The Ritterin are proud and haughty, known as great warriors and great worshippers of the tribunal. Since they love the temple in Vivek, they cannot love you. The temple warriors hate the Nerevarine prophecies and will kill you if they see you. Be careful. <laughs> uh, what about being a hortator? I do not know the ways of the settled people, but I do know in the council of chiefs you must cultivate a friend and beware an enemy. Find one who is willing or who is well disposed to you. Win him and use him to win the others. And the most powerful chief, he is most likely an enemy since he loves his power and hates to share it. Recognize your enemy and prepare for him. We already killed the uh, Venom and took over the house, so... Uh, what about Telvanni? I do not know the ways of wizards. I have heard they honor the tests of life and death as we do. The ones who live, live a long time. The ones who die are forgotten. They are old and strange and terrible. I know little, but I am afraid, and that is my counsel to you. Be afraid. It is no time to be bold and careless. It is no time to hoard your treasures. With wizards, there are no second chances. I am told that wizards who speak for the Telvanni counselors may be found in a strange building in Sagrith Mora. The counselors themselves are ageless sorcerers living in towers scattered all over Vardenfell and in the eastern mainland. I know nothing about them except that they are old, terrible, and evil. <laughs> Alright, what about Hortator? When a greater enemy threatens the great houses, put aside their quarrels and choose a Hortator, a single war leader to lead all the houses. Only a great house council can name a Hortator, and all councils must agree. Speak with the Redoran, Hlalu, and Telvanni counselors. Prove to them that Dagoth Earth threatens. When you are named the Hortator of all the houses, only then will you be the Hortator named in prophecy. Yeah, like I said, lots of, lots of reading, but it is all great stuff showing off the strength of Morwen's writing. Okay, so we have some options here. We can do all of the camps first, or we can do the great houses first. I think I'm going to do the camps, the Ashlander camps, because we already have this one marked, the Ahumamusa. So we're just going to start here. Hello. Have you given courtesy first to my Gulakans? No? Have you no manners? Go. Do what you should before I will speak with you. The Gulakans of the Ahimusa are Kusi, Herder and Initiate, Duda, Talk, Hunter and Brother, and Yenamu, Scout and Brother. Okay. Kusi, Duda, Talk, and Yenamu. I am the Nerevereen. <laughs> do you come to claim the name of Nerevereen? I hope you come to do the deeds of the Nerevereen. We need the deeds, not the name. You must speak to the wise woman, Sinamu Mirpal. We are poor. We are a poor sad tribe without an Ashkan and led by a wise woman, and we are its Gulak Khan. We say, we say this with shame, for we are as weak and helpless as children. Go to her, Outlander. Tell her you will do the deeds of a hero and save the Ahemusa. Maybe then you will have earned the name Nerevarine. All right. So you have recovered the amulet of Ashamanu. Ushamusa Rapli told me of her vision, and now you are come. You have done the tribe a great service, but perhaps you may do us a greater service yet. I have heard of an outlander who seeks to fulfill the Nereverine prophecies and to be named Nereverine. Are you that outlander? Yes, I am. I know the prophecies. I know an outlander, clan friend of the Urshalaku, has done great deeds and claims to fulfill those. I want the Ahamusa to name me Nereverine. I will examine your proofs and you will tell me your story, and if I am satisfied according to customs and with reference to the prophecies, I will name you the Ahimusa Nerevarine. But there will be a price. We need a safe place, and you will provide that safe place. In seasons past, when threatened, the Ahimusa could take shelter in the ruins of Ald Daedroth. But now that the priestess, Hyreni Endavil, has come and restored the Daedric Shrine, and worshippers of Sheogorath dwell there, protected by terrible sorceries and summonings. First you will go there and make it safe for us, then you will return and I will accompany you there, and if Al Daedroth is a safe place for my people, I will name you Nerevarine. Cool. Uh, let's go clear that out then. Al Daedroth is across the sea. So we've actually been to Al Daedroth before. Pretty recently, actually. We went in there for the Tribunal Temple, I think. So part of it might already be cleared out. I guess things could have respawned since then. It has been a month or two. You in I'm just gonna kill everyone here that is hostile toward me. 
including this guy apparently. Hopefully you don't get a bounty from it. I don't think you do. Okay, there we go. No more bone walkers from you. I guess he could have been aggressive because we attacked his bone walker, but I don't know. And of course we got our fatigue drained a ton, but we have some good potions we made. I don't know you, do I? Are you here for the dance? Or are you here with the gold hats? Don't you know what's going on? Go down and talk to Hilareni in Davil in the big room with the statue. There's free drinks too, and watch out for the gold hats. They play rough. Yeah, this is uh, Shale Gorath's, like, Daedric Ruin, like she was saying. It's where we got the, like, gummy putty or some weird, weird thing we had to get. So we just need to get to the shrine, unhindered, which is this, I believe. These ordinators shouldn't attack the wise woman. I don't think they will, so I guess we'll just go report back in. Have you made it a safe place for the Ahimusa? If I may pass in safety to the old sanctuary and see the great statue in the inner shrine, then the place is safe for my people. If it is safe, are you ready for me to accompany you there and test with our lives whether it is indeed safe? Yes. Very well, Valden Cells. Now I will accompany you to the Daedic Shrine. And when you have brought me to the old sanctuary beneath the ruins so I may see the great statue of Sheogorth in the, in the inner shrine, I will surely know that you have made it safe for the Ahimusa, and I will name you... Nerevarine. Go ahead and we will speak further before the great statue. I said I would accompany Valden Cells to see if you had made all Daedros safe for the Ahimusa. You have fulfilled my conditions, thank you. The Ahimusa shall be saved, and if you wish I shall now name you Nerevarine of the Ahimusa. I name you Ahimusa Nerevarine, war leader of the Ahimusa and protector of the people. I also gave you the Madstone of the Ahimusa, which shall be a sign to all Dunmer that you are the Nerevarine, and that the Ahimusa shall follow you, in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated or until you are dead. Now, I can stay only briefly. Soon I must return to the camp and make preparations to relocate here. She gave us a mad stone, which is, I think, another amulet, right? Looks like it. Right, we're gonna head to the Zanim camp. We're gonna walk there. Let me know what you guys think, if there are any other factions quests, anything that we should do before we end the series. Like I said, it's not gonna be anytime soon because the main quest is, is quite lengthy still. We have a lot to do. And then also, um, I think Tribunal is pretty long. I wanna do all of the side stuff in Tribunal, so we're not going to be, you know, breezing through that very quickly either. So you don't have to worry about Morrowind ending. And then eventually it'll just be kind of its own series of me playing different mods and doing the different factions that we didn't do with Valdrin right now. I don't know who these guys are, but might as well kill them. Then eventually in, I assume a couple months, I'm not, I have no idea how long it'll take to get there. We will, the new main series of the channel will be Oblivion and we will be doing very similar things where we join a bunch of the factions and show off a lot of content from Oblivion. There's a lot less good quest mods for Oblivion. Unfortunately, it never really got the support that Skyrim and Morrowind got. I am going to have a lot of mods, but there just is there's a lot less questing and new area mods in Oblivion that are high quality. Most of them are, are, are not very good. There's, there's a couple though that will definitely be playing at s some point. You should talk to Ashkan Kushad. He's the mightiest champion and greatest Ashkan of all the Ashlander tribes. A very great man. You should talk to him. He's a very curious man, always speaking with traders and travelers about the news of the world. Go ahead, our great chief does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and courteous. That's me. You are the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. You are welcome to our hospitality. But you must tell us, how can an outlander be the Nerevarine? I, yeah, I passed all the trials and I got the... Ring of the Moon and Star, that's how. We have heard the rumors. We know you to be the outlander who claims to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies. But how could an outlander be the Nerevarine? You must admit, that just sounds silly. You seem pleasant enough and strong and healthy for an outlander. But excuse me if I'm not disposed to take your demands seriously. Hmm, seems like we can't convince him, so let's just go talk to the wise woman. I am Sonumu, wise woman of the Zainab. Do you come for my services or my counsel? Counsel. Hmm, I see... Ashkan Kuzad will not take seriously your request to be named the Zainab Nerevarine. 
Let me tell you a little secret about our chief. He would not have it be known, but he has a weakness. He has a weakness for expensive outlander clothing. If you bring him a pair of exquisite shoes, <laughs> he might be better disposed to you. <laughs> That's what he wants, huh? All right. Let's mark this place cuz we're going to come back here. And I guess we'll go to Balmora and check the clothes shop there. So when the Oblivion series starts, I think to me the ideal upload circumstances would be Oblivion twice a week and then Morrowind once a week. So like I said, this will keep going on with Valjan, but as more of just standalone content. The main story, his story will be over, but everything else we can still show off. And that way you're still getting more on content. It's just there's the Oblivion series now that's running. And I feel like that's a good balance. If you are just here for the more content, you'll still get what you came for. And if you're here for Valjan or me, then you will get, you'll still be getting that sort of content. Like if you're here to see the series through the entire Celis family tree, then you're still getting what you want to. So it's kind of a win for everyone. Um, at this point, we've been playing this series for almost, what, nine months now, which is insane. Hello, I have shoes. <laughs> Thank you. These are these remarkable shoes are very fancy, too fancy for a simple Ashlander like myself. But I thank you very much for this gift. It was very thoughtful. Are you going to believe that I'm the Nerevar reborn now? We have heard the rumors. We know you to be the Outlander, but teach us Valden cells. How could an Outlander be the Nerevarine. Tell your story, show your proofs, and ask to be named Nerevarine. Ho oh, ho, excuse me. Do not think me rude, but seriously, do you believe this story yourself? I mean no offense, but you must admit you are an outlander and completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ashkind would ever choose you to lead the tribes? Ho ho. Not giving me a task. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge in the nearby Narano ancestral tomb. If you are as worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to, to dispose of this vampire. There, you have your task. Now perhaps you would leave me in peace for a bit. It is to the north, but you are a stranger may get lost. Listen, go west from our camp until you reach the mountains, and then turn north and follow the mountains, keeping them on your left. When you pass the ruins of Necherleft, keep your eyes to the east, looking for an entrance flanked by two trees on the western slope of a hill in the center of the Grazelands. That will be the Norano Ancestral Tomb. Ooh, a golden saint. <clears throat> Is this the first winged twilight we ran into? It might be. Can't remember a time when we fought another one. Okay, and here are the tombs. That's convenient. Narano? Yes. No, maybe we haven't been here. No, no draining my strength. That's annoying. Okay, what's going on in here? Let's get our night eye going. Athletic skill book, sweet. Should dead people, all right. There's the vampire man himself. Come on, stop healing yourself. There we go, get out of here. Calvario. Give me that vampire dust. A single silver arrow, huh? Wow, this is a horrible dungeon. Let's never come back here again. I'm back. He's dead. Ugh. Calvario's dead. Dead? Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Nerevarine. Well, so you killed the vampire Calvario. Ahem, <laughs> well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as a Zainab Nerevarine, but it is customary for one seeking honor from the Ashkan to offer him a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you're an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvanni bride. A pretty one, plump, with big hips to, to bring me many sons. <laughs> Where will you find a highborn Telvanni bride? That is simple. You should visit highborn Telvanni lords and inform them that the Ashkan Kuzad of the lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvanni lords would be honored to receive such a an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonamu Zabamat. She knows in my mind well in such matters. Telvani woman, plump hips. Do you know where to find them? Kushad wants a Telvani bride, eh? No highborn Telvani would wed an Ashlander. 
But I have a plan. Go to my friend, Seville Aman, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Tel Arun, and tell her you need a pretty Dun Dunmer slave to pose as a Telvani lady. Then Seville Aman will tell you what clothes to buy and will dress her like a highborn Telvani. Then escort the pretty slave to the Zainab camp and present her to Ashkan Kusad as a highborn Telvani bride. You won't know the difference. All right, we just gotta find the big slave market. Should be pretty easy. I don't think Tel Arun's very big. I think Save we found it. <laughs> um, are you her? Yes. Welcome, Valdon Cells, to the Festival Slave Market, the finest slaves in Vardenfell. I'm Seville Aman, and I know we have the slave for you. Are you looking for standard slaves? Valdon Cells, are you looking for something special? Something special. You need a slave to pose as a highborn Telvani lady. Sweet Alma, that... Sanamu Zabat and her cunning plans. I do have the slave you want, Falura Lervu, a pretty Dunmer girl, but first you must get an exquisite shirt, skirt, and shoes to dress her in. Go get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me, and then we will discuss a price for her. Where can you get exquisite clothes? Telmora Elegan, the clothier, has some very nice things. See these clothes I'm wearing? Exquisite shirt, skirt, and shoes? I bought them at her shop. Maybe you should try her. When you have these clothes, we can talk about these something special you're looking for. Are you here to get rid of the corpus stalker? Sure. We were able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk disease by getting close to it. Normally, Master Arion would take care of it, but he's been so busy recently. Are you saying that you're up to the challenge? Yeah, sure. Excellent. Have at it, but be careful. It's fine. There you go. Didn't even have to touch it. It's dead. Thanks for dispatching that stalker, Belgian Cells. You obviously have great skill. Okay, you are not the cloth clothing merchant. I thought you were. Um, pleasant journeys, Belgian Cells. I'm Elegan. Eleganon. New until more, I suppose. Do you know where to find our services here? No, no, no. I just need some exquisite clothes. There you go. That should be everything, right? I got the clothes. Good, these clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you've brought her. But I need to do a little more time to coach Falura to play the part of a highborn Telvani lady. I know just the thing we need. Go get a bottle of Telvani bug musk perfume. Try Bildrin Aerith, the apothecary here in Tel Arun. That will make Falura completely irresistible. Go, hurry. Okay. <laughs> Why could you have told me that before I came all the way back here? Greater apothecary? There we go. Get some bug musk. You have the bug musk? Excellent. No, no, don't give it to me. You'll give it to her when you have brought her. Now, let me tell you my price for this suburb, suburb spe specimen skillfully coached to play her part in your little scheme. I am pleased to accept from you the modest sum of 1,200 drakes, and I only offer you this special price out of my friendship for Sanamu Zabamat. Yeah, that's enough. We have money. Very good, thank you for your custom, and come back soon. Now here's the key to her cage. I've removed her slave bracers. When you're ready, you should speak to her, give her the presents, the exquisite clothes, and Telvani bug musk, and explain to her that she is to follow you back to the Zainib camp to meet her future husband, Ashkan Kassad. Can we also, like, buy the other slaves? I wouldn't mind letting them all free. Or letting them all go free. Uh, maybe in a second. Let's get her out of here. Hey. You want to look at me? <laughs> she looks down at the ground, waiting for you to speak. Yes, sirrah. Falura of Velos Haven, daughter of Androno Lervu, Lord of Tel Lervu, pleased to make your queen. See, Seville Imanin has taught me well. I shall be a highborn Telvani lady, and no one will know the difference, just like a lady. I admit, I am a little anxious about marrying an Ashlander, even an Ashlander chief, but anything is better than being a slave, and I'm very tough and smart and determined to make the best of my chances. But Seville Aman says you wanted to give me something, some presents. Oh, Sarah, these clothes, they are divine. Such perfume. Such a perfume. Only the very rich can afford this. I should do everything I can to please you and my new master, that is. My gracious lord and husband-to-be. Come, I am so excited. I cannot wait. Let us travel together to the Zainab camp and meet this Zainab lord. Yes, follow me. Very well, Valjan Celis. Now you and I will travel together. When we have arrived at the yurt in the Zainab camp, we will speak further about my new... Bride, yeah, I want to see if we can free some of these people. Tell me about Sir Lindy. Interested in something more refined? Sir Lindy is the same price as the others, a thousand gold, and well worth it for such a rarity. Buy an Altmer slave. Yeah, we'll buy him. Sir Lindy is now yours. She will be carefully removed from the slave prison and should be waiting for you just inside. I hope you enjoy your purchase. What can I do for you, master? Go free. Free? You're letting me go free? Yes. 
Yes, now I am free. Thank you, Valgencellus. No to what do I owe the pleasure, Dunmer? I assume these are the other ones? You freed me, Valgencellus. Are you in the Twin Lambs? No. I do not know if they really exist. It is said they helped slaves like us escape. Until you arrived, I did not believe I would ever see my home again. Yeah, no problem. Let's go buy the rest of them and let them all go. Screw house Telvani. Hey, what about Davina? Red guards make fine servants, especially a red guard woman. They're just as hardy as the men, but less rebellious. She's a hundred drakes, I'll buy her. And then Jadier? You're looking for a Breton. I am pleased. I thought I might never get rid of this one. He'll make a fine slave, I'm sure. It's just that Bretons are not as hardworking as orcs or Argonians. He is the same price as the others. What about Man Manalian? Sikris? Imperials are hard workers, but you have to watch them, especially this one. He's the same price. Sure. Uh, Menelilraz? The Bosmer are truly the least of the elven races. He is the same price as the others. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy him. Ah, uh, traditionalist. The Argonians are naturally well suited for slavery. She is the same price as the others. A thousand drakes. Nemiri. All right. What about Sabah? Bakha? A traditionalist. The Khajiit are naturally well suited for slavery. <laughs> Gotta love race, racism in Morrowind. Uh, and then Ubaria is another Khajiit. I will buy him as well. Let's go free them all. <laughs> Clear out the market. Uh, they're all stacked on top of each other. That's disturbing, but sure. Go free. Ubari only knows rumors about the twin lamps. They help slaves escape. They take us back to elsewhere. All right, and then Caius's cousin. Go free. Go ahead. Then... I'm all <laughs> The Breton guy, go free. This is getting I must say, very confusing. I must and then the Red Guard Lady Davina, go free. I like what I see. Thank you. Um Bosmer, go free. I feel like we're missing someone here. Yeah, wasn't there like an Argonian? I don't see the Argonian. Well, <laughs> hopefully they got free. Cause that's all of them. Maybe it like despawns one if you uh buy too many at once. Oh well, I don't think this will work, but I want to try if teleporting tell- oh, it does work. She teleported- hey, and there's our other slaves. Hello? Mr. Argonian, go free. And you, Mr. Khajiit, go free. Alright, let's- This is my new bride. Hmm. I'm very pleased with your gift, Outlander. Although she isn't quite as generous in the hips as I would like. But I promise to make her a happy bride and to do her honor as a high-born Telvanni lady. I hope I do not displease you, my gracious lord and husband-to-be. I hope to bear you many fine sons and daughters. Uh -huh. I'm sure you will, my darling. You are every bit as exquisite and beautiful as I hoped. But of course, the bride of Ashkan Kaushad, of the lordly Zainab, should be nothing less. Yes. I will now name you the Zainab Nerevarine, war leader of the Zainab and protector of the people. I must also give you the Zainab Th Thong, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Zainab have you named Nerevarine. There you go. It also looks like an amulet. All right, well, that is three out of the four Ashlander tribes. I think I'm going to end it there. I was trying to fit all four Ashlander tribes <clears throat> in one episode, but we're going on a little long here. So I think next time we will finish that last tribe. I forget which one it is. And then we will do the three great houses and we'll see how far we get from there. Anyways, though, thank you for watching and peace out.